wax and when you do a guy's brow wax everybody needs to look groomed but not necessarily look like they've been waxed so i'm brushing through the brow kind of seeing where some trimming needs to be done and where my wax is going to go just because i'm waxing doesn't mean i'm going to wax necessarily so i'm starting here I'm going to trim slightly a nice line. I'm going to take some weight out through here. Shake that up really nice. I'm just slightly taking the ends off actually I'm not hacking the hair all right everything's nice and ready for wax I'm going to hold the skin really tight, pull up so I get my, see my shape better. Apply a little bit through here and just get this area. Apply the strip, nice full pressure, pull it really fast, apply pressure, ease the sting. Nice glide through the top, just getting a few hairs to sharpen up the line a little bit. Same with the other side, pulling the skin really tight, applying just a little wax to just get the start of the shape going. Nice full pressure. Ease the sting. In the center, you have to be very careful. Hold the skin really tight. Do a little bit of wax, slightly going outward. Not a lot. Then the most important part of the brow waxing is the tweezing. So I've got all the hair out of the way that's excess and then I can go in and get a really sharp line in nice shape without overdoing it with wax. Pulling the hair with the growth so that it feels better, it doesn't hurt so much, and you can see your shape. Squeezing really well like this also helps so that the shape will hold better and it will last longer if you have nice tweezing and trimming. 
especially in this area where the hair grows a lot faster. With guys, you also want to be able to have it be clean, but not completely manicured. It's kind of cool to leave a few random hairs if it blends well. I'm just making sure this is trimmed really well. Applying Argado's Hello Water, which is very soothing and helps to tone redness and calm the skin down really nice. Ha <laughs> ha